Hello, everybody. On Wednesday, the 10th of February, 2021. Man, you talk about reefer madness. Sundial, baby. Sundial. Look at this. The stock is up 110%, people, in one day. 110% on, get this, 2.7 billion, with a B, billion shares traded in today's session only. No doubt, the highest volume in Sundial's history, money stream, absolute moonshot, balance of power, clear accumulation in Sundial, which frankly has been going on for the past three months. To try to grab any type of perspective on what's going on with SMDL and its reefer madness, 2019, August of 2019, this thing was trading at $13.20. And then at the end of October of uh, last year, 14 cents. Quite a range in Sundial. So let's use these two points to define our diatonic octave. We're trading at about 345, almost 350 in the post market tonight. So we're working back up through the floor of the main octave that we've defined. First resistance from here, and I bet we'll see it tonight, but we'll definitely see it tomorrow, $4.48. Opens up the door to $6.67. And on a longer term swing trade of perhaps several weeks, or maybe even a month, how about $8.83 on Sundial? Support for now is where we were trading yesterday on Sundial, down around $1.77. Good support on Sundial. Going forward, Tilray is the max daddy of the Canadian cannabis plays and probably what is driving this entire sector right now because they're all running. Tilray, of course, doing that big merger with APHA, Afira. Again, with the money stream here, moonshot on Tilray. Extraordinarily high volume. Again, pure accumulation with regard to balance of power on Tilray. Let's take that low from December 31st down at $8.23. Today's high up at 77 even to define our diatonic price octave into the flux capacitor to get our price targets eight dollars and 23 cents from late december 77 dollars today nice little move smoke them if you got them let's crunch our pipe on kernel we're all the way through that initial octave of course so as we get into the higher ascending octave from here, 85.52 would be our next target up on Tilray. At 94.12, it hits a positive shock, which would send it up to $99.83, perhaps rather quickly. On Tilray. Aurora Cannabis, ACB. Another one running with the sector. Balance of power, like the others, pure accumulation. Money stream, not as dramatic as the other two, but still lifting. Volume today is respectable at 89 million, but really barely over its 50-day moving average. Aurora will report tomorrow night, which could light bottle rockets on it. Let's take the low from the 29th of December down at eight dollars and 16 cents on acb today's high twenty dollars and 57 cents and let's get our diatonic price targets so eight dollars and 16 cents into the flux capacitor up to today's top twenty dollars and 50 cents thereby defining the major diatonic price octave on ACB. 
We're all the way through the octave that we've defined. We're into the higher octave. So now we're going to look. 2210 is going to be the first area of resistance based on where we're trading here tonight. 2366 would be a launch point to 2469. Those earnings are good tomorrow. Don't be surprised if we can't see 2882 on ACB before the end of the week. Support for now on ACB, I would call around $16.43 where it was trading yesterday. I think it's good solid support on Aurora Cannabis. And I'll go ahead and cap off this hideous screed on these reefer plays with Canopy Growth Corporation, whose CEO kind of jump-started all the mojo this week in cannabis stocks when he pointed out that Chuck Schumer over the United States is talking about opening up legislation to allow Canadian growers to sell into the United States marketplace. And boy, would that be a 10x or a 100x on, on revenues, would it not? The truth of the matter is Canada is three or four years ahead of the United States on getting into retail with, with cannabis. What's interesting on cannabis to me right here is you see the balance of the power for the past two weeks. That's all retail hands. Yesterday and today, that switched into definite accumulation. Money stream is strong. Volume, probably the highest it's been really since November of last year. Again, we've got that December 29th low, like the others, down at 24.20. Today's high, 56.50. Today's candle is a bit of a tug of war. You've got this long upper shadow where the sellers came in and pushed the buyers back. You've got this long lower shadow where the bullwinkles came in and pushed the bears back. The real body of uh, CGC through day is not that remarkable. Canopy is at 53.69 in the post, so first target up from here will be the top of the octave that we just measured, 56.47. From there, from there, we're looking at $60.51. Next move up for Canopy. Ultimately, depending really on how earnings go with uh, Aurora tomorrow, you could see 67.22 on CGC within a week or two. Okay, guys, that's a wrap on this uh, Roaring Reefer stock plays for Wednesday. Um, 2.9 billion with a B now on Sundial as we move through the after hours. I gotta go find my bong and sit here and watch the action. I am King Cambo. Smoke them if you got them, and that's how I roll on Reefer Madness for Wednesday, February 10th, 2021.